We oh are my running, gosh. getting our exercise. This is so far. Today we're looking at the Akella 2.4 GHz dual channel lavalier microphone kit and the difference between a lot of the other ones I've tried out is this one will actually work with Androids, iPhones, and 3.5mm devices because the receiver actually has a USB-C, lightning, and a 3.5mm connector. All in one, ready to go no matter what you happen to be recording with that day. So that's very cool, makes it a very versatile system. So as you can see we're looking at a 3-in-1 universal receiver, a long working time rated at up to 7 hours on a single charge, a 360 degree omnidirectional pickup pattern, you can record while you're charging your device which is very cool, we have 15 millisecond ultra low latency, smart noise cancellation to cut out what you don't want to hear, tiny and portable design as well as being plug and play, no additional apps or setup required. This is rated to be able to go a distance of up to 120 meters which is pretty substantial. All in all this is sounding like a very good very portable kit with some good Features. Let's see what we got inside the box. We have a user manual, two USB-A to USB-C charging cables, a 3.5 millimeter cable in case you want to convert the 3.5 millimeters on the receiver over to one that's supported by a smartphone, a little drawstring carrying bag. Next up, we do have the all-important receiver with the USB Type-C, 3.5 millimeters for DSLRs and other cameras, as well as the lightning port for iPhones. So this is a very nice setup here. As you can see, it's a pretty big receiver, but given all this technology that's going into it, very nice. As you can see right here, we do have the power button as well. A single tap will power it on with this green indicator light right here so you know what's going on. And then over here on this side, we do have the 3.5 millimeter connector in case your cameraman wants to monitor the audio that's being recorded and make sure nothing gets cut out, as well as the USB-C charging port to charge up the device as well as charge up your phone. And then finally, we have not one but two microphone transmitters to clip on to whoever's being recorded. Taking a look at just one of them, we do have a windscreen on it to cut down on wind noise. You could also remove that if you want to. As you can see, the microphone does look very nice underneath. Over here on the side, we do have the USB-C charging port to charge up the microphone and really nothing else to see, but we do have an LED indicator right here. And then flipping it over to the bottom, we do have the power button as well as a clip to clip it onto your shirt. Now one thing I am noticing is this clip is fixed and you're not able to rotate it. So when you clip it onto your t-shirt, it's gonna be clipped like this or you can clip it on vertically if you happen to have a button-up shirt or some sort of jacket. Personally, this is one thing I would change because I mostly wear t-shirts and I would want to clip this onto my collar and it's going to be facing this way and I would prefer if it was facing this way to pick up my voice a bit better. So now once we power on the device, we can flip it over and we do see the LED indicator light. When it's flashing, that means it's in pairing mode, searching for the receiver, but once it's solid, that means it's connected and ready to record. Now keep in mind, you do have to remember to turn off the microphone and the receiver when you're not using it. You're just going to hold down the power button until the light turns off and this way you're not wasting any battery life. One of the other cool things about this microphone kit is with a single tap of the power button, the light turns blue and this mutes the microphone in case you don't wanna be recorded. And then a simple tap again will let you start recording once more. And it's nice to see a different color indicator so you know that the microphone is on or off. So now as you can see, we do have both microphones lit up solid green because they are both connected and that is what you are hearing right now. I pull up one microphone, testing, testing, one, two, three, I'm talking directly into the microphone and then putting it back down testing testing one two three I'm talking into microphone number two now here's the deal since I'm only one person right here I would generally be using one in case I'm doing some sort of interview or something and if I want to do a handheld interview this is what it'll sound like hey how you doing the weather's been crazy recently right yes sir it's been very crazy that's what I was trying to tell everybody but they don't believe me so that's what it'll sound like if you're doing a handheld interview but for the most part when you have something like this you want to clip it onto your shirt like I was saying though, the clip only goes this one way. So if I clip it onto my shirt like so, it, it looks okay, but personally I would prefer if it was a vertical design. And plus the pickup pattern, even though it is omnidirectional, it does pick up better coming directly in the front of it. Now the cool thing about this is you could actually use two microphones by yourself if you wanted to do a handheld one, and then have this one as a backup in case one of them happens to cut out. Or maybe, you know, it's better if this one's closer to your face because this one's over here and then you're moving around and, you know, do what you got to do depending on your situation and what you happen to be recording. But generally speaking, you would give this one to somebody else, they would clip it on so, you know, sound one's out of the way, and then you'll just have this one on and this is what it sounds like. As you saw, these microphones do not have any sort of gain control on them by themselves, so you're going to have to do all that on the device that you happen to be recording with, although with phones you can't necessarily do that unless you happen to have a pro camera app installed where it lets you adjust the audio levels 
right on the fly. Now, I'm going to do a screaming test because, remember, there's no game level. So I want to see what happens if I start to scream. So here's your warning if you have me wearing headphones. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow, let's go. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. That's what this sounds like if you happen to get very excited and start screaming while you're recording or you're streaming. So with this being said, though, obviously right now we are in a studio environment that's very controlled and very close by. But this is rated for up to 120 meters of range. So we're going to head outside, put this to the test and see how well both of these microphones work when you're trying to go further away from the camera outside in the wide. All right, now it's time to put this thing to the range test. It's rated at up to 120 meters, which is roughly 430 feet. So we're gonna see how far we can go without it cutting out. As you can probably tell, it's a pretty substantially windy day. So we'll see how well it cuts out on wind noise as well. Right now we're starting at about 30 feet away from the camera and we're gonna keep on going. So, you ready? I am. Here Let's go. go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 40 feet away. 40 feet away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 50 feet away from the camera. 50 feet away from the camera. The wind did die down a little bit, but it's still a bit windy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 60 feet. 60. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seventy feet. Seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty feet 80 away. Eighty feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety feet. Ninety feet away. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, nine, one hundred feet away. Woo! One hundred. So one hundred feet already pretty far. We're gonna keep on going and see if we can go a little Woo. bit further. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One hundred and ten feet. One ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One hundred and twenty feet. One hundred and twenty. Oh, let's go. Woo! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty, hundred and thirty feet away. And I'm getting tired. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one hundred and forty feet away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one hundred and fifty feet. One hundred and fifty feet. Dog barking and everything. The camera's way over there. Ooh, Keep I can't on even going. see it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 160 feet. If you need to go this far, I mean, this 160, is far. 160, 160. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 170 feet, and there's a tree right here. 170 feet. One hundred and eighty. Wow. One hundred and eighty feet. One hundred and ninety. One ninety. Can you still see me? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know if you can see us. We're going to go to two hundred feet away. Hundred. And we ran out of space here, so we're gonna head on. There's dogs right here barking, so hopefully it doesn't pick them up, although it might. We're 200 feet away, hopefully you can still hear us, and we're gonna head on back and see how well it did. Here we go. And I guess we can run back and separate, Woo! see if it can still pick both of us up. Woo! Let's see. The wind, the dogs, everything's going. Hopefully you can hear both of us. We're separated right now. We're running. We're running. There's wind coming on us. Oh yeah, the wind is being picked up. The dogs are picking up their barking. We oh are running, gosh. getting our exercise. This is so far. I think my camera's gone. Oh my gosh, I can't even see it. Oh, it's still there. I see it. There's a lot of dogs over here. All right, here we come. Running in the wind. Wow. 
And we are back where we started at 30 feet away. Hopefully you're able to hear us way over there, 200 feet, which is really far away. I don't think you need to go that far, but if you do, hopefully it can pick you up. What do you think? I think so. Okay, I guess we're all gonna find out soon. All right, y'all, and we are back, and there you have it. We tried these microphones out. As you can see, I have both of them clipped on me right now. But we tried these microphones outside, and we tried them inside, and honestly, the audio quality is good for what they are. They are very small and compact microphone kits, and this is exactly what you're hearing right now, raw and unedited audio still coming from these wireless microphones directly to you, so you know what you can expect. Now, the thing is, when you're using this outside, moving around a lot, maybe spinning around, getting obstacles in the way, the microphones can cut out because they are in a 2.4 gigahertz connection, and you do pretty much need a direct line of sight between the transmitter and receiver to get the best quality. But you can get away from the camera if you need to, just, you know, try to stay facing forward. Don't turn around and get things in between the signal, and you should be fine for the most part. But it is very impressive that given the small form factor, you are able to use this on iPhones, Android, and other devices like regular cameras and use it wirelessly across the pond, wherever you happen to be. Moving outside, it's great for vlogging if you want to have a better more directional microphone right on you instead of having the camera just pretty much pick up everything on a wide spectrum. And it's very small and compact with seven hours of battery life that you could take with you on the go. Very cool, very nice, and it's good for what it is. Obviously, it's not the most high quality microphone in the world, but you know, for what it is, it's very good.